Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jackson. Jack Royer has the evening off. We begin tonight with a community rallying around a neighbor. An elderly woman in Clanton was threatened with jail time, actually sentenced to 30 days in jail here at the holiday. She's since been released. CBS 42 News reporter Jesslyn Adams has this story from Clanton. Uh, I said, you know, Inside yeah, Kleckler appliances and parts, it. people have been stopping in all day to see Odine Kleckler. The community upset by her arrest. Kleckler says she can't believe the outpouring of support. My thoughts was they they cared for me, and I appreciate them. Kleckler's appliances and parts is a longtime family business. And it's always been a pillar of the community. They've always been there and help people. Clinton Mayor Billy Joe Driver says the shop has failed to meet code. Over the last three years, he says the health department deemed appliances outside the building a health hazard. Driver says three months ago, Kleckler and her son Randy were given time to clean up. Tuesday, Judge John Jackson ruled the business wasn't to standard, sentencing Kleckler and her son to 30 days in jail for failure to comply with the zoning ordinance, but not without backlash. It blows my mind. I mean, it's unimaginable that anybody would incarcerate an 87 year old woman two weeks before Christmas. The mayor says he made the calls to have Kleckler released. They're more concerned than I was too about her about her age. She's an elderly woman. Now the community is coming together to help Kleckler clean up her shop. I was needed with some help. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men right here got some truck come down to this lady's shop. Let's clean up. But I appreciate it either what to do. But